today I want to take some time and talk you through how I make Apollo knots. I've used Apollo knots on several jobs over the last few years and everybody has a different way of doing them. I start building my base using a 2 inch length of 28mm thick dowling. I drive a 3mm wide hole through the centre of the dowling. Next I take a piece of bridle tool and fold it over so that it's 4 layers thick. When building the base of my knot, I like to use washers to sandwich the pieces of tool together. This just gives a bit of extra support to the fabric and maintains a solid structure when screwed to the dowling. The washers I'm using are 30mm with a 5mm hole in the centre to accommodate the small screw. Now that the base is made, I plug in my hot glue gun to heat it up. Prep my intended work area with a sheet of greaseproof paper and grab a handful of hot glue sticks and some hair elastics. The hair I'm using is Expressions Ultra Braid in shade number 4. For this tutorial I chose synthetic hair because it isn't affected by moisture in the same way real hair is. I begin by unpacking the hair and dividing it into 4 bundles of even density. I take one of my 4 bundles and roughly measure and cut to length. Personally I try to make sure that my Apollo knots don't stand any taller than 7 inches. So to create my first loop I start with a section around 14 inches long. I secure it at one end with a small hair elastic and begin straightening it out using a hair dryer on a medium speed and high heat. After combing and smoothing out the hair I begin fixing it in place with a stronghold hairspray, working with fine mists and letting each air dry before the next is applied. After building up multiple layers of hairspray on both sides of the section, it should become semi-rigid. By this point you should be able to pick up your section of hair without any strays, flyaways or loose pieces and fold it over like a ribbon to create your first loop. Secure the ends again with another hair elastic and fix in place with another two light coats of strong hairspray. Repeat this process to create the desired number of loops for your intended Apollo knot design. To begin building your Apollo knot, Trim off any excess from the loops you created previously by cutting just underneath the elastic that secures the loop in place. You can further secure your loops by wrapping the elastics tight with some thread or fusing the hair together with some liquid super glue. Now it's time to start gluing all our pieces together. Using a generous amount of hot glue, I stick each loop in place on the dowling and hold in place until the glue cools. Now 
Now that our basic shape is created, we need to hide the post and create a bit more structure in the base so that the knot stands upright on its own. Here I'm using a section of hair that's been braided and secured at both ends with an elastic, then super glued to fuse the ends together before cutting away the excess. Working in small sections, I use my hot glue to secure the braid down around the base of the knot. I continue working around the base to create a big enough surface area that will allow the knot to stand up right on its own. I then concentrate on concealing the dowling with the remainder of the braid, working with small bits at a time and hot gluing in place. Once I reach the end, I glue the last piece down and tuck the elastic under to conceal it. After the hot glue on the base and the braid has completely cooled, I start cutting away the excess bridle tool from the edges. Here are a few other designs that can be created using this method.